Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. I am trying some new products from Mary and May, which is a brand that I've loved. It's a Korean brand. I've used their sunscreen before, their SPF. I'll link a video that includes a review of their sunscreen. I recently brought it on a vacation and the whole family loved it. They were having a sale, so I decided to purchase a few more things. I incorporate sunscreen into my skincare every day. Today we have the Vegan Niacinamide Panthenol Sun Cushion 50 Plus SPF, PA++++. I also got a primer from them. It's the Vegan Blackberry Complex Multi Sun Balm 50 Plus, again. PA++++. I also got the Vegan Primer Glow Sun Cream 50+. This is a Panthenol Moisturizing SPF Primer. And then for some reason I also got a serum. It's a polypeptide or six peptide complex serum for youth and glow. Multi-peptide, fragrance free. A high strength peptide formulation to target multiple signs of aging. I believe this was well reviewed and I don't have a polypeptide serum in my routine. Although I have so many products, I'm really not sure why I bought this right now except that I was interested in it, already purchasing from them and decided to purchase it. I do like this brand as I said, I'm a fan of their ingredients, I'm a fan of the line. Korean skincare tends to be ahead of the US. I do, however, already have on my vitamin C serum from Bloom, from Bloom Effects. It's the vitamin C facial oil. It is squalane based. It's a clear serum. It's just beautiful. Uh, but like I said, it's squalane based, so it is slippery. It has an oil base. That's what squalane is. And then I also have on the True Botanicals Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30, the Everyday Skin Tint in the shade 6. This I did not like the very first time I tried it. It is important to shake it and then it does become more of a liquidy cream and the color is more dispersed evenly. And at least for summertime, I believe the shade is a good one for me. So between this, the squalane uh, facial serum, as well as I put on some plum oil to do some gua sha this morning, my face is a bit slippery. I point that out because I didn't quite realize which products I had here. Let's start with the, poly, the six peptide complex. I keep wanting to call it polypeptide, which I guess is the same thing. It's just multiple peptides. Glass packaging, tinted glass packaging with a squeeze top. It is allergen-free, fragrance-free, ethanol-free, synthetic colorants-free, cruelty-free, peg-free, mineral oil-free, and parabens-free. Researchers note, let's see if I can read this. Peptide is one of the high-functioning ingredients applied in cosmetics. There are so many varieties. Mary and May's six peptides is a moist and fresh formulation serum with six types of peptides giving the most synergistic effect, showcasing the advantages of each kind. And then it goes on to list them, saying they affect wrinkle relief. You can expect a better effect if you can fill each other's different deficiencies like puzzles. Mary and May combine six peptides into a golden ratio to help create elastic skin by helping to regenerate collagen and elastin through Synergy. The directions simply say to use it like you would any other serum. So I don't know, I feel like I should shake it at least a little bit. Like I said, it's this tinted glass packaging with a dropper. It is clear. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Absolutely no scent. And it feels like water, very thin. Very thin, not at all slippery. It absolutely feels like water. I can see incorporating this into my routine given how lightweight and quickly absorbed that is. Very interesting, uh, very interested to see how this product does, if it makes any difference. And it actually, it feels smoothing on the back of my skin now that it's absorbed. It has like a smoother finish. I don't know if that comes across or not. Now we'll do the Vegan Primer Sun Glow Sunscreen. This one looks more like the typical SPF container. It's 
says illuminating primer sunscreen that delivers glowing finish. Uh, it does have the panthenol, which is extremely moisturizing. This one says moisturizing primer sun cream that doubles as a makeup base that provides moisture replenishment and a bright tone up luster effect. I'm just gonna put it right on top. Oh, so this is reminding me of one of my very favorite products, the Graydon, it's a Graydon product. I cannot remember what it's called, but I absolutely adored it. I wore it every day. Graydon was gonna get, or was trying to get their SPF certification in the United States, so we could find out how much SPF was in it, and they never did, and that's why I stopped using it. But I absolutely love that product. I will link, maybe, because it was one of my very first reviews, and I think it's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, this is a slick, nice in the hand kind of product. It is, 50 milliliters or 1.69 fluid ounces does have a bit of a pink tint and I do see some iridescence and then it just shears out it's not oily or greasy it has a nice enough slip but it doesn't feel again like an oil or that kind of product and now it's dried down it's le left a beautiful luminous finish Hopefully you guys can see that. This will be great, especially in the winter when I wanna add some glow under a foundation or even just to touch up on top of makeup. Really nice. We've got the Vegan Blackberry Complex Multi Sun Balm. And this one is a triple functional multi sun balm for brightening wrinkle improvement and UV protection containing blackberry complex and jojoba oil. This is supposed to be the last step of your skincare. Apply gently on the face, carry product around for, oh, to reapply frequently to areas that need extra UV protection. Sorry, the print is super pale on there, so I've just had some trouble reading it. But this one, I believe, is a balm, like a stick. So this is that. The products are not at all <laughs> cohesive in their packaging. You know, if you've watched my videos, you know that's something that, it's just a nitpicky thing. I like to see some cohesion between the brands. This is pretty light. Oh, I do remember this. Okay, so I don't know if the inside is the SPF and the outside is sort of makeup-y. Again, no scent. I love that these are not scented. And I believe this is kind of a highlighter effect, if I'm remembering correctly. It is not sticky. It's almost like a velvety oil, if that can make any sense. It's not super slippery. It's definitely not sticky. I could see it maybe hair would stick to it if I keep putting it on like I did. I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my highlighter today. I'm gonna put on some makeup. Oh, actually, no, we're not finished. I'm going to use this today as my highlighter. But before I do that, let's get to the whole reason I went to this website in the first place and started to purchase. It's the Mary and May Vegan Niacinamide Panthenol Sun Cushion with SPF. This one has niacinamide, which is good for calming redness. It also may help with pores. It's also an antioxidant. It says cool hydration and brightening. Panthenol 2%, which is moisturizing. It's a physical mineral sun cushion containing UV protection ingredients that contains niacinamide to help brighten skin and panthenol to provide a cooling and soothing effect. It's like engraved on here. It's a fairly large compact that's flat pretty flat, but you can see how big it is. So it has a button here, and then I push. I'm trying to see if there's a film on here to take off. If there is, it's not well delineated. Now I've either scratched it, it's gotta be a film, right? But I don't see how to take the film off. I'll have to play around with that. It does have this cushion. Oh, and this, there's, this is just clean. Over here, I'm new to these if you can't tell. Pop that up and it says, please remove the film for use. Please close the compact tightly after use. Okay. It has like a powdery scent that's nice. I don't know how much I'll smell it on my face. Don't think this is tinted. It doesn't say that it is. I would like to use this as a mirror. I'm kind of annoyed by this. Okay, well I have a mirror here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I thought it was the foundation. 
foundation. I'm gonna use their pad that they provided. It's um, it's more of the texture of a uh, like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. Oh, I stuck my finger right in here because I was curious. I stuck my finger right in, like pushed it right to it and some powder came off. It's like a sticky, kind of sticky, kind of spongy feel. I don't know how much to use. Um, let me know if you guys have used something like this before and how you like it. I uh, guess I'll start here. Oh, it's cool. It's very cooling. Holy cow, I was not expecting that. I mean cooling to the point that it absolutely feels wet. I don't know if it is wet. Holy, okay, that's really surprising. Dipping back in. Okay, well, this is really weird to me because I've never used it before. What it feels like to me is that I'm actually dipping onto the surface of a sunscreen and putting it right on my face. Like it has that same wet feel, has a little bit of white cast that I think is dissipating as it's on my face. The important thing would be if I'm using this as my sole SPF would be to make sure that I have it evenly dispersed because when my fingers mush in, it doesn't always get all over. So that's the challenge here is it's not evenly dispersed on here. Wow, okay, this is very interesting to me. So it's not makeup. I don't understand. This could be a cultural thing, like we just don't typically use this kind of thing here, but it smells nice. There's definitely a scent. I feel like there is a little bit of a white cast. Not what I was expecting. All right, I'm gonna go in with the rest of my makeup and then we will use the Blackberry Sun Balm Complex. All right, makeup done. Everything I talked about in the video today will be listed in the description box down below so you can look it up, get more information about it. I did have to go in and powder my face, which I usually don't do. I was so like shiny, greasy, glowy, but not in a good way. I'm okay now that I have the powder on. Let's go in now with the final thing, the Blackberry Multi Sun Balm Complex, the stick product. I wish uh, I had a better explanation of if the inside is the SPF, which is what I'm guessing, and the outside is just pigment, only because I could see applying it, you know, at an angle accidentally or unevenly and not getting the full SPF. However, it is SPF 50, so you don't need as much of it as you do with 30. I'm gonna try swiping it on one side and then maybe using my fingers and patting it on the other. I'm curious to see how it, how much makeup it removes or if it does. Hmm, I can't tell if I just see that stripe or if it removed makeup. It doesn't feel wet or greasy, it really doesn't. It's like a dry oil feeling. I also don't feel that I used all that much. So okay, even so, I have on enough sunscreen. Is there a nice sheen there compared to this side? I'm gonna go ahead. I do have some makeup on the tip now. So it definitely removed some of the makeup. I'm going in now with my fingers, or finger, trying to go back and forth over the center and the exterior. It is melting a bit. Here we go. And the good thing about having an SPF with highlighter, highlighter with SPF, is that you put the S, you put the highlighter on the highest point of your face typically. Let's see if we see a difference on this side versus this side, whether it took off any makeup. I don't know, but it is very comfortable. We'll see what it looks like throughout the day, I guess. I'm not mad at that product, just in sum, Let's just go over all the products real quick because I think that'll be helpful. First, the serum, I'm excited to try if it follows through on some of the skincare products. The reviews were fantastic. The texture is great. So I'm excited to see how that works for wrinkle reduction and whatever else it was supposed to do. Of course, I already forgot. Signs of aging, it's supposed to help with the multiple signs of aging. I don't think it'll hurt, you know, so that's good. This primer is, I think, the big winner of this whole thing. It's the SPF 50. Of course, it's stronger, more UVA, UVB protection. Very exciting, goes under makeup, or you could just wear it alone. I wish I could remember the name of that Graydon product. Anyway, you could just wear it alone and it's gonna, I can tell, have a blurring, brightening effect on the skin that'll just be really beautiful. So I'm excited about this. This 
is fine. I could do without it. It's not a negative, but it's not a real positive. If it were all the same at the tip, so I knew all of it were SPF instead of maybe pigment with SPF in the middle, or I just don't know, uh, then I would feel better about it. But that just kind of makes me nervous. I could see using this on my lips, on my eyelids. I could certainly see using it. There's no harm in that one, but I'm just not as excited. And then I have a couple things to say about this one. What I thought it was, was makeup. I thought it was gonna be blurring. I thought it was gonna be sheer. It is sheer, but it does have a white cast. And I don't believe it did anything for pore blurring, smoothing. It didn't make the texture of my skin any nicer. So what I bought it for, the purpose for which I bought it, it's no good. I don't like it, it's a total fail. However, I'm thinking clearly it wasn't meant for that purpose. Instead, this is the kind of thing you keep with you, you press onto your face or even on my collarbone. I think I just wasn't aware of what this was. Like I said, I'd never used anything like this. I've never tried anything like this. It's just different. It really felt like dipping a sponge in a mineral sunscreen and patting it on. That's what it felt like. So I will experiment with that, maybe keep it in my car or if it were lighter, I would keep it in my purse. I don't know where my dog is going. He's gotten older and he has a habit of looking for me when he can't find me. I'll hear him wandering all around the house. So he must hear me talking but can't quite figure out where I am. Anyway, I'm sure we'll hear him come back upstairs in a few minutes. Uh, that about wraps up this video actually. So you may not hear him come upstairs. Let me know what product of these you're most interested. I could do a dedicated review. Have you heard of Mary and May? Are you as into SPF products as I am all year round, not just for the summer, by the way? I uh, hope you're having a wonderful summer. It's already almost over, believe it or not. Lots of schools start Oct uh, August 10th. My son doesn't start that early, but I'm just... They say as, t as you get older, time goes faster, and by they, I mean me and everyone else I know because it's absolutely true. Anyway, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.